right, y'all, back at you. And we're gonna do kind of a, uh, this is like early uh, July, um, kind of an update of uh, which bananas have fruit on them in our banana uh, garden. Um, we actually have, how many, like how many varieties? 14 or 15? 15. Something like that. I think that we only have eight up here in this front garden. Mm -hmm. um, and I, we don't have fruit on any of the other ones around the property, uh, just in the front garden here. So, mm -hmm. um, but we do have three varieties with fruit on them. Um, which should we start with? We have one that's real exciting. And then we have two that are still just as exciting, but I guess, but which one do you want to start with? Let's start with this one. All right. So this one, we got from our neighbor, um, Ralph, and we call it the Ralph banana because um, we're not exactly sure what variety it is. But he told us he thinks it might be an ice cream banana. Um, and we're really excited about this one because he's actually given us fruit from his banana patch um, in the past, and it's really good. Uh, mm -hmm. they're, they're real good bananas. So we're excited to have this variety here. Um, you can see... Um, I think we transplanted these, right? He yeah. gave us these when they were maybe half this size. So yeah, they were pretty big um, when we moved them. Yeah, but um, the bananas in his patch on his property are way taller than this. I think that these will get bigger. The next round will get bigger. Um, these, a combination of being transplanted and maybe we didn't feed them enough. Um, mm -hmm. They just didn't get very big. And you can see we only got maybe five hands of bananas on there. It's still a decent, um, yeah, decent is, batch of bananas and, and they look good. They all look good. Yeah, they do, and they're starting to plump up. And you can see I have them propped up here because it was leaning too much. Uh, we would usually prop them with some poles, but uh, the poles would be in our walkway, so we had yeah. to tie it off to the to the railing here. So, mm -hmm. all right, what's next? Which one? Which one next? Uh, Orinoco. The right, burrow yeah. Orinoco. Yeah. So we got our Orinoco over here. This one uh, put out its flower and fruit. Maybe. What do you think? About six weeks ago. I yeah. Think? So these bananas are still kind of a little underdeveloped looking but um we're excited about them and again this is another one that i think um a combination of maybe we could have fed it a little bit more and um it's competing you can see right here we planted it at the base of this uh cabbage palm so it's kind of competing for nutrients here but uh because i believe this variety will get a little taller for mm -hmm. one and i've seen some uh racks of bananas off in orinoco they're huge compared to this one so um, but we're still excited about it we've actually yeah. never tried this kind no before so no and if this one was bigger it'd be like all the way down to yeah. the ground and maybe um like well that's okay the critters i would be fine with that. yeah I guess. <laughs> <laughs> all right so and then we got our third our third uh, variety, and we're real excited about this one. Which, what kind is it? The praying hands. Yes, bananas. the praying hands. So this the has got to be. Bananas are like this. Yes, this has got to be. Instead of like this. Yeah, so it's like two. Show them again. It's like two hands of bananas Instead, yeah, so come this together is the like that. Praying hands. So it's like praying yeah. hands, and this is how the bananas look. So I'm gonna, I got a ladder here because you can see, this is these are our tallest uh, plants, banana plants in the garden. Um, but I got a ladder here so I can get you guys an up-close look at um, at what these fruits look like up there. We got a nice uh, rack of fruits up here. There's like seven or eight hands up here. You can see them. How they, you can see how one hand is like that and then one's kind of like that and they come fused together. You can see right there. They're just wild. These are one of the more distinct varieties of bananas i would say right yeah. i mean it's kind of hard i'm not we're not you know lifelong banana experts we've been we've been growing bananas for a long time but mm -hmm. i'm not going to pretend like i grew up on a banana plantation or anything but yeah. uh that you know it's sometimes it's hard to tell varieties of bananas apart from each other but this one is just i mean the way those uh fruits develop is pretty uh what's up wild yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's pretty obvious that this is a uh praying hands banana so we're real excited about this one um yeah you can see it's like 15 feet tall i, I love the leaves on these the leaves are like super long yeah um, they are it's like extra tropical looking. you guys can see we've got a couple outer bands of a couple tropical storms this season so we have some the, the taller varieties of bananas have some shredding on the leaves these uh these Dwarf varieties don't because they're protected in here by the house and stuff. But um, in the backyard, um, we're on the water, and in the backyard there, we get some high winds coming off of the river, and uh, all of our bananas back there have shredding on them. But mm -hmm. they'll be okay. Yeah, it doesn't uh, seem to matter. Yeah. 
But anyways, y'all, we just wanted to bring you this update. Uh, like I said, I think we have like 14 varieties of bananas and we have three with fruit on them right now. So yeah. we're excited. Actually, we have another variety that I think is about to put out a flower over yeah, there. Right there. Yeah, I, I don't know what kind of, uh, I don't know what that variety is that was here on the property um, when we bought it. And we actually have a whole patch. We have that one right there, but then we have like a whole banana like patch back uh, uh, behind the house of that same one. They're pretty good. We've had a yeah. lot of those. So we, we actually use those as plantains. Uh -huh. I did, they're not a plantain, but we yeah. eat them green uh -huh. and uh, enjoy them that way. Yeah. So. Anyways, y'all, I hope you enjoyed our video here. And um, until next time, everybody take care.